Right, shocking video taken by the wife of Keith Scott. It was released today, and reports say she went to give her husband a phone charger, came outside to find police surrounding his car. That's when she pulled out her cell phone and began recording. News 2 Sophia Arizosa shows us what this video reveals. I'm not going to come near you. I'm going to record, though. I'm not coming near you. I'm going to record, though. He better be alive. Cell phone footage of the shooting released today, but it leaves more questions than answers. Don't shoot him. He has no weapon. He has no weapon. The disturbing pleas from his wife, who says he's not armed. He doesn't have a gun. But you can also hear police who say otherwise. He has a TBI, she says, which is short for a traumatic brain injury. He has a TBI. Lawyers say the injury is a result of a motorcycle accident in November of last year. He's not going to do anything to you guys. He just took his medicine. Then perhaps the most confusing part of it all. Keith, don't let them break the windows. Come on out the car. Keith, don't you do it, she yells seconds before he gets out of the car. Get out the car. Keith, Keith, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Keith. And then the moment it happens, gunshots, but no clear sight of the shooting. Did you shoot him? Did you shoot him? Did you shoot him? Some reports say this still shot shows a gun lying near Scott, but others say it's unclear, and Scott's attorney agrees. As far as I know, I don't know. You know, we know that law enforcement is saying that he had a gun. Um, I have not seen any definitive evidence. But he says the video does offer a glimpse into what happened that day. We want the public to see it, let them draw their own conclusions, and I think it will have a, a very big impact. The Scott family first told their attorneys that they were unsure about releasing this cell phone video, but made up their minds after watching the police footage yesterday. The family says they hope this will encourage authorities to release what is on the police dash cam video to the public. Reporting in studio, Sophia Arizoza, News 2.